Hello and welcome to my channel. This video is going to be for Andrew Eddy. Now, in my group Catfish Glass Eye, people are posting pictures all day every day for a very long time now. I'm just going to go through these pictures with you. Okay, so this is Australia. Tycho Creator is at 9. Remember Wax and Wayne left and right sides. Well, here you go. Moon's on its side. Top and bottom's lit here. This is Australia. Outside a tropical equatorial region. We shouldn't see Tycho at all unless you live in an equatorial region. This is Australia. Yes, I, I know the whole Darwin thing. Well, it doesn't matter. Because we're excluding equatorial regions. And Tycho should never be at nine in a region outside the equator. Alright. That's just the first one. Well, that's Arizona. This is Australia as well. We're talking about the moon gets overhead. The moon will flip in four hours. Uh, in equatorial regions now. Shouldn't, ha shouldn't flip in four hours. 1954 to 2329. It's not him turning the camera. James is very good. He knows what he's doing. There's a problem right there. But let's just continue on down. UK. Here we're looking at five hours. No, no, no. Seven, no, five, no, tw seven hours. Uh, Terminator line like you're talking about, uh, especially in the UK, it should be pretty vertical. And here we are seven hours later, and we have the bottom side lit because the moon should not roll. Cartwheel, turn it like a clock, roll like a tire across the sky because it is linear motion. Yes, I agree with a little bit of an arch, but it's still linear motion, and it's not a tire rolling across the sky even with an arch. It's lin arched, curved motion, but not the disc rolling. That's the difference. Curved, but not rolling like a tire down the road over a hill. Uh, okay, this is Texas. That's bottom lit. Wax and wane top and right. Texas, bottom is lit. Shouldn't happen. Again, from the same person, you can see the same thing and what I'm talking about. Uh, this is Arizona. So... We got bottom side lit in Arizona. Temperate zone, northern hemisphere. Shouldn't ever look like this. Uh, do, 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 do. Mask, same Arizona. Now we have bottom lit. Oh, this when you post them together, but I'll stick to the clear ones. But anyways, this is Arizona. It's still, yes, it's still Arizona. Shouldn't happen. The disk of the moon is turning like a clock, and it shouldn't. Here you go. UK again. Here's how her moon looked. Here's how she rotated this moon phase video that shows how how the moon should look for the whole year. Moon phases 2020. This came from NASA. Right here. Here we have this is uh, your Terminator line should be vertical. These are correct drawings for northern or southern hemisphere outside equatorial regions, but yet we have tilt. Disc flipped. To see how far she had to turn that out? Well, here you go. Here's these rules. Northern and Southern Hemisphere. But we're seeing this rotation. Here you go. Uh, let's see, that was 
This one was October 9th, October 6th. She had to turn it even farther than to match this video to what she was seeing. Pretty much have top side lit. Northern Hemisphere, UK, nowhere near equatorial regions. Boom, 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 boom. Let's see. I'm not sure this person where they are located, so we're just going to move on. Well, here, here's uh, UK again. Oh, look. Tycho Crater is all the way over here, almost to nine. Extreme Northern Hemisphere. Not polar region, but come on. Here you go. Another fine example. Joe has done a great job. The disk of the moon is turning at a rate of about 15 degrees an hour, which is the exact same speed the Earth is turning on its axis. And we are now seeing the moon do this because the Earth is on its side. Okay, South Wales, I'm pr these are set up. Here's the beginning, South Wales. Uh, brain farting aware exactly this. Uh, based on the rotation, I would say this is su definitely Southern Hemisphere because the Southern Hemisphere is turning counterclockwise and clockwise in the Northern Hemisphere. So, there you go. There's, your, there's a time lapse. We'll continue on. I've got lots of these. Okay. Here's one that I took from Virginia. I got an equatorial moon of the view of the moon from Virginia. Impossible. Why is the bottom side lit? And this, uh, hmm. I don't remember where I took this photo. It's a build. That's a house or building. Right here is back at Darwin, Mr. Pickett, showing us a southern hemisphere spin now, turning counterclockwise. Where we went from right side lit to towards the top to at the top is lit. Hmm, where should that happen? You know, this is. That region we're talking about with Darwin, but this is going on everywhere in the Southern Hemisphere. So it isn't about Darwin or overhead. It's everywhere in the Southern Hemisphere. Um, Leanne Roberts, pretty sure she is, well, definitely United States, probably Midwest, maybe Texas. Well, topside lit. Is that waxing or waning, Andrew, Eddie? And I'm not downgrading you or making fun of you I'm asking you you want to know here here's this is uh, Portugal Portugal I believe is far eh, it could be close to equatorial regions uh, here we go southern Australia why do I have an equatorial view of the moon in southern Australia because the disk is moving from our perception here on Earth, because the Earth tilted. And now the moon spins. Ah, here's another one. Bottom lit. Top lit. He posted these the same day. I would assume they are the, well. It's possible. No, this is a little, not the same night, because the, the phases stay, and this is more, uh, more waxing okay but anyways uh, shouldn't be happening well these are here let's see same from Darren again Wow, look at that. Went from bot top side to bottom side. Huh. If you really think the people are flipping there, there's all these people are running around flipping their cat. Ooh, this is a good one. Anyone's flipping their cameras, you, you need just need to go ahead. You're, 
go somewhere else. Okay. 246. Oh, I wish I could make this bigger. 246, 432, 508, 541, 554, 644, 725. Huh. We went from a fairly correct moon to an incorrect moon in one night. Here, these are my pictures. Let me put these in order of taken. I've got structures and terminator line. I mean, the best I can shoot with craters, but craters and terminator line are rolling together because uh, it's us and our perception of the moon that is rolling. It's okay. So uh, here you go. Terminator line is rolling with structures and craters together. So many things people don't know what's going on. Well, here we go. What's this? Uh, Andrew. Hmm. He's Northern Hemisphere, United States. Hmm. Ec bottom side lit. Remember, wax and wane is left and right sides. We agreed, right? Uh. Not very clear. Uh, Texas again. Top side lit. Tycho Crater is over at 9 because these are the rabbit ears, the bunny ears, so Tycho's over at 9. Shouldn't happen in Texas. Again from Texas. Well, we'll continue on. I'm sure the yep, these are James again. Equatorial moon right now as when it right now. 634 1034 4 hours later. And he ain't rolling his camera. Hmm. That's an equatorial moon what it's doing right now. Flipping every 4 in four hours 180 degrees not it should do that from rise to set in the equatorial regions but not in four hours bum, 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 bum. Now this is a neat little thing here view from northern hemisphere view from southern hemisphere here we have the rabbit that I talk about we had the man on the moon uh, is the man sp on the moon spo supposed to flip, roll like a tire, the disc? Nope, but it is. Here's some more from James. Let's see. Where Here he is photographing a northern hemisphere spin from Darwin, Australia. Bum, bum. Darwin is a unique experience because you can get a northern hemisphere spin and a southern hemisphere spin and an equatorial hemisphere spin even though it shouldn't be at an hourly rate because nothing changes on the moon at an hourly rate nothing not even vibration vibration is over a few days and it's a maximum of seven degrees uh, Texas again top side lit from Texas hmm should never happen Come on. Uh, another Texas picture. Let's see. Was that from the same night? May 1st to May 1st. I would say these are the... Yeah, same night. 26 p.m. So she actually captured a counterclockwise spin in Texas. Which is how the moon is spinning in the southern hemisphere right now which we have documented and Ron Hagberg has documented that in Ohio. I'm pretty sure he's in Ohio. He's northern United States. So uh, at times it's rolling both directions in some locations outside equatorial regions. Hmm, explain that one, my friend. 
I'm just trying to show you. And we talk about many other things. Especially satellite views of things. On my my pictures. Okay. Let's go to the beginning one. Now 2019. Terminator in Virginia. Terminator line. We're looking at topside lit basically. And I added lines to show you how much it's turning. Where does it say it's supposed to do this? Never. Because it's not even if it is an arc, it's still linear motion. The Earth is spinning and the Moon is essentially standing still. It's essentially linear motion, not rolling, not a tire. I don't know, I could continue on. We've I've gone on for 16 minutes here. Uh, I think I've shown you exactly what I'm talking about. Oh, this is a good one. Where do you see this symbol in equatorial regions? I should never see this in the southern hemisphere or the northern he northern hemisphere outside equatorial regions. Let's see if anything else pops up real quick. Um, ba -dum, bum, bum, bum. Okay, here we go. Glad I kept going. I'm pretty sure this is yep, Texas. 2.20 p.m. 6.30 p.m. 10.30 p.m. Here we go with Tycho at, Tycho at 9 p.m. again. Ooh. Tycho started at 6. But Northern Hemisphere Tycho should be essentially at 6. With minus libration, a maximum of 7 degrees. Hmm. That's a good one to end on. Just for you, Andrew. Uh, everyone gets to enjoy the video, though. But uh, I made this one for you, buddy. Have a nice day.